Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chrissy and I am the owner of Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I create what I call my Summer Breeze Leopard Tumbler. As you can see, it's super fun, really bright, and I thought it would be perfect for the upcoming summer season. I don't know about you, but I am ready for all things neon, hot pink, hot yellow. I just love this whole entire color combination and I just had it put it together on this cup. Now I do want to mention that I found my inspiration off of a picture I found on Pinterest that I'm going to put right here so you can see where this whole inspiration for this cup came from. If you're looking for inspiration on anything, if you find yourself in kind of a creative funk, I want to just let you guys know Pinterest is going to definitely be your go-to. I literally have a full album in my phone right now with a bunch of inspiration pictures that I, I have found on Pinterest. So if you're interested in how I created this whole entire look, you want to see how I made it, all the steps that it took to bring all of this together then keep on watching. To start, I'm going to prep my cup using Final Sand from DIY Epoxy. This is a two-in-one sanding and cleaning agent, and you can find a discount in the description down below for 10% off all DIY products. Next, I'm going to spray paint the base of my cup using Rust-Oleum's Summer Satin, which is this yellow color, and coral, which is a really pretty orangey coral color. I'm gonna create an ombre effect using both colors. I'm going to lightly spray my cup in short bursts while tilting my cup to help create a blending effect. Now I'm going in with this coral color and I'm going to do the same method and spray paint in short bursts while tilting my cup away to help create that blending effect. First, I'm going to take Coral Kisses and I'm going to sprinkle that all over the entire bottom of the cup. I am then going to start sprinkling the base of the cup while angling the top portion of my cup down towards the desk and leaving the butt of the cup up in the air. This is going to allow the glitter to fall down in a way that creates a fading effect so that when I am ready to apply Frosted Lemon, which is the yellow portion of my cup, it will blend easily between the two in the middle. Because both of the colors that we're using today are an extra fine cut, you want to be very careful with how you're applying your glitter. If you have a heavy hand, you can go a little bit too heavy and your lines will be harsh. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to tap off the excess with my scissor and we're gonna move on to the frosted lemon. Sorry for my hand being in the way at this part of the tutorial. I'm gonna try and do a different angle in my next tutorial and we will see what's going to work better. Um, but what I'm basically doing is I'm just starting at the top portion of the cup right now, sprinkling all around, and then I'm going to start to angle the cup with the butt towards the desk and allow that glitter to fall just like we did with the Coral Kisses glitter. Uh, this is going to help create that ombre effect again and also help those two colors blend in the center. So now we have a really, really nice ombre effect, nice blend in the center, and we can move on to the next step. So once that's fully cured, I'm gonna take this cup outside and I'm gonna be using this Krylon Clear Satin Finish um, Sealer and we're gonna spray that all over the entire base of the cup. This is gonna help seal in all of those glitters so that when we move on to the next portion of the cup, which is applying our spots, we don't get any movement with the glitter that we've just applied. Once I'm done applying this clear sealer, I'm gonna let this cup sit for about an hour and then we're gonna move on to the next step. So now it's time to begin putting the spots on my cup. I'm gonna be taking two medicine cups and I'm also using um, this dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Now I'm putting uh, small amounts in two separate cups because I'm gonna be mixing paint into my Mod Podge to help uh, create a more opaque finish on the glitter that I'm gonna be using for my spots. So the glitter that I'm gonna be using for the blue portion of my spots is called Glass Slippers. And that paint that we mixed into the Mod Podge is called Caribbean and it's Apple Barrel. Um, and for the black paint, I'm using the Folk Art Outdoor Acrylic Paint in the color Coal. And so I'm mixing up both of those Mod Podges and that's what we're going to be doing um, and using to apply my spots. So first we're starting with the blue color. Again, that paint color is called Caribbean. It's an Apple Barrel uh, brand. And I'm just using a regular size small paintbrush and I'm applying the spots. So first I go in with a few spots and I'm really not doing any um, specific style or shape. I'm just patting in that Mod Podge mix that I have. And once I got a few spots down, I'm going to then take my blue glitter and I'm gonna sprinkle that on the areas where I've applied those paint spots. Now, an alternate way of doing the spots on this kind of cup is you can also use um, vinyl or you could just leave the paint as it is and then resin over without adding any glitter. But because I am a glitter girl, I gotta go in with glitter. So that's what I've decided to do today. So I'm just sprinkling on that blue glitter again in those areas where I've laid down those blue Mod Podge spots. And I'm gonna do this all around the entire surface of the cup as well as on the bottom of my cup. For the time purpose of this video, I did speed up this part of the video just a little bit more, um, but I am gonna let it run all the way through so you guys can see how I apply the spots all over the entire base of the cup. But once I'm done doing all of the blue portion, we're gonna move on to the black and we're gonna start outlining our spots with the black Mod Podge mixture. And I'm gonna be using Starry Nights for the black portion of these spots.
that the blue spots are all laid down i'm gonna go in with starry nights which is a really pretty metallic black this is not a holographic uh glitter color but it's really really pretty and i'm gonna be using a softer longer bristled paint paintbrush and i'm going to start outlining my spots now for this portion i am kind of looking at a picture of inspiration that i used to actually create this cup um, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, in the introduction, I used a uh, nail inspiration that I found on Pinterest for this cup. So I am looking at the picture um, to kind of help me create the spot so that they look similar. Not exact, but similar so that it goes with the look that I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, basically just painting on the outlines of my spots and I'm gonna be applying the black glitter. Now for this part, you wanna make sure that your blue spots of where your Mod Podge was to apply the blue spots, that those areas are fully dry before going in with the black outline. The reason for this is because if your spots are still wet and you go in with that black color, uh, chances are it's going to stick onto that blue paint and that blue glitter and it won't be able to brush off easily. Um, so definitely wait for your blue spots to fully, fully dry before going in with the black portion of your spots. So now I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to just start creating small little irregular spots all around the base of the cup. This is going to be filling in those spaces in between the spots to create a more realistic and authentic look to these spots. So I'm just placing them randomly all around and then I'm going to sprinkle the Starry Night Black Glitter onto those spots. So once I'm done with this portion of the cup, you want to make sure that you really tap off as much excess glitter as you can. Um, once I'm done with this part, I usually just set it up and let it dry overnight. Um, and then I'm going to go in with a hard bristle brush and I'm going to brush off as much glitter as I can. Now You want to be really gentle, but at this point, you, all your glitter should be fully, fully dry. So you're going to just brush that off with a hard bristle brush bristle brush and then we're going to take it outside and we're going to spray with um, another clear sealant so we're going to do the same exact method we did before when it was just the ombre and we're going to spray seal it really well you're going to let that fully dry and once that's fully dry we're going to go in with a first coat using ccdiy's facet now i'm going to apply a really generous amount over the base of the entire cup so i believe i'm using about 30 mls and i'm spreading that evenly over the entire base of the cup and then i'm going to just lightly torch it just to get rid of any bubbles that may be coming up on the surface and so we're going to let that cure now that that's spinning we're going to let that cure again for about four to six hours and if there's any sanding that needs to be done, you can go ahead and sand it. If not, um, we can go ahead and move on and apply our decal. For um, me personally, I didn't have to do any sanding. As you can see, the first resin layer was pretty flawless, which is the reason why I love counterculture DIY. And I'm gonna be applying this clear cast decal from BAMF Custom Creations. This is the first time I'm testing out their clear cast vinyl. So I saw this vinyl design. I thought it would be perfect for this summery look. And I decided to apply it to the center of my cup. So it kind of like meets in the middle. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just gently squeegee that onto my cup, 
making sure that there aren't any air bubbles getting underneath but it was pretty easy to apply just like you normally would any other vinyl design what's really cool about this clear cast decal is that the border of this decal is clear but the backing of the image is actually white so it allows it to stand out against other colors which is really cool so i did purchase these decals on my own but i will be having a link in the description down below so you can check out her shop check out her decals and give her a try if you want to test these out so once i'm done applying any vinyl design i usually like to leave it on for about an hour before applying my final coat of resin now here you can see i'm applying my final coat of resin i am using counterculture diy again just check out that shine you're gonna want to let that fully cure and you're good to go I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you loved it please give it a big thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel yet then please go ahead and do so in the description down below you can find links to everything we discussed in today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time